What is good, everybody? Welcome back to another My Damn Toys video. I cannot believe it, Brad. I cannot believe it. Another Elite set through the door, man. Holy Christ. I could be wrong about this. You could let me know down in the comment section below. Never seen three big four pay-per-view Elite Waves through the door in a matter of a few weeks. Absolute insanity. Absolute insanity. We had the Survivor Series Elites. We had the WrestleMania Elites. Now we have the Royal Rumble Elites. I, 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 I. I don't know what the hell's going on anymore. Had the Build-A-Figure Rick Rude wave. Had the Build-A-Figure Mean Gene Okerlund wave. We got the Build-A-Figure Doc Hendricks wave today. I mean, good God in heaven. How can anybody keep up with this? But here I am back again with a review, man. You know how we do. We're going to be back again with a review. Today, we are back with the WWE Elite Royal Rumble 2022 or 2023 wave. And we have Damian Priest, Vader, Rey Mysterio. You knew it was going to include Rey Mysterio. Brie Bell over here. It's just jokes, it's just jokes, but it's not good. Nonetheless, man, let's take a look at our packaging right here. Damian Priest in the beautiful white and silver. Think this figure looks fantastic. Good God in heaven, love the white and silver. You got the pink Hendrix arms in there. Looking like a clean figure, I'm excited to get this one. The packaging is also clean as hell. You guys can see you got the white, the red, the black, very clean stuff going on. Actually, really sick. Actually, like I, I like this a lot. I like a lot. He's got a little something special going on there, young man. So Damian Priest is looking good. We also have Vader. Now, I... I never got the Legends figure that came out not too long ago. Maybe it was like six to eight, maybe a year ago. Got the torso in there. You got Vader. It's Vader time. Yeah, you got Vader there. Very cool. Feel like I'm on Boy Meets World. We have another Rey Mysterio. Feel like he won the Royal Rumble yesterday. Now here I am reviewing this figure in real time. Kind of makes me sick. Shout out to my man Lane Conway. Rey Mysterio was his favorite wrestler when we were growing up. He was one of my best friends. And I remember watching the Royal Rumble as, as we were watching together as he won the Royal Rumble. And I was happy for Lane because his favorite guy won it. Here I am today. Ray Rey Mysterio there looks clean on the back. Ray got Ray. Ray again. Very cool. And then the last one in the set is going to be this Brie Bella, which Jesus Christ in heaven, man. If this makes it to retail, it'll never leave, okay? It may. It might, but probably not. It could, but it won't. It should not. It shouldn't, but and, and it won't. It will not. We'll see, but also we we'll won't see because it won't move. But also it, it couldn't. It might sell if if it weren't real. I don't know. Nonetheless, man, we are going to crack all four of these out of their packaging, take a closer look at them, and we're going to run through it just like we do usually in the reviews. But we got four elites here, man. We're going to run through all of it, get into the Doc Hendricks, which is probably the figure I'm most excited about, but we will get into that. But let's shut the hell up, crack all these guys out of their packaging, find out what these Royal Rumble elites are all about, and I'll see you guys in just a moment. Hey, guys, this is actually editing Trey right now, and I had the idea that this did not hit me until after I had done the packaging segment. These slips slick mofos, man. These slick mofos over at Mattel, man. How about them including the head and legs of this figure, of this Doc Hendricks Build-A-Figure. They include the head and legs of the figure with the Brie Bella, but with the Rey Mysterio Elite in this wave, they gave him hands and the Royal Rumble microphone. You don't need those damn hands, Brad. You do not need those hands or that mic to complete this Build-A-Figure, but you damn sure need the head and legs. That is hilarious, man. God, that makes me laugh. That is the funniest shish I've ever seen. Good God. Head and legs. Have they done that before? They probably have done it before. It's just laughable. It's so funny. I don't know why. That's just That makes me cackle. Ha! I'm cackling. Holy hell. That's hilarious. Anyways, back to the review. All right, guys, so here's the full wave going round and round on the rotating base. Of course, we're going to dive into every single figure here, break down the accessories that you get with each, and, of course, build the Doc Hendricks figure at the end, and we're going to rank the set as we always do here. I can probably guess which one's going to be last, and it's probably going to be the one that we're going to start off with, but you know what? I'm going to go into it unbiased. I'm going to go into it with an open mind. We'll see how it feels. We'll see how it goes and break everything down, man, but let's start rubbing through the wave. We're going to start with one, go all the way through, build the Doc Hendricks, and get the hell out. All right, guys, so getting into Brie Bella's accessories, we do get the same rubber, like, cloth deal. <laughs> cloth. You effing wish, Brad. Rubber little kilt deal or skirt, shirt, plaid, 
plaid, I don't know why I said it like that, plaid deal that goes around the waist there. It says Brie mode on it. We saw this back with the Elite 68 Brie Bella, I do believe, if I'm not mistaken, but this is pretty cool. You got the, you know, you got the, it's not cool. I don't, I don't know what I'm saying, but it goes around the waist, clasps in the front. Outside of that, you do get mic holding hands with no, you know, nail polish or anything like that. And then you get the finger pointing hands to tell you to shut the hell up. It's the long Stephanie McMahon, you know, Elite 94 finger as well. The ET phone home hands are pointing you, to, you know, telling you to get the hell out. All right, man, so getting into Brie Bella with the head sculpt do believe this is the exact same head sculpt that we saw in the elite 68 it just doesn't have the red headband painted is basically what it is so you are getting a black headband in there but not a bad head sculpt you know i guess the job done kind of plain jane hair would be cool if they added highlights and stuff to this hair to just add a little life to it but you have the same molded top that we've seen same stomach you do get the rips in there it's got you know the belly button actually makes sense this time they put the skin tone there but you have the black stripe going through double jointed arms which are really nice they are pinless you do have the back exposed there which i do believe was accurate you do have the plaid stripe going around the belt there pretty much plain jane you do have the rips here you know it's just paint deco it's not sculpted or anything she does have black knee pads on there now these legs are like insanely stiff i guess because they are pinless these are new legs compared to the last time we got this Brie Bella figure, but they did give her the basic boots, which sucks so much, man. They just suck. They make it hard to stand flat, but you do have the Brie Bella logos on there, kick pads, whatever. Figure just feels super stiff, especially in the legs. Arms don't have that Stephanie McMahon problem, which is just a blessing. I would probably have to just lose my ever-loving mind if, if it did, but I don't know. It's just very, very stiff, man. These legs that they... I mean, I'm probably going to remove the knee pads from this. Not that I give a, I don't give a rat's rear about the knee pads and like the articulation of the figure because like, you know, I just, I, it's just, a, oh my God in heaven, but you get the point, but let's get into some figure comparisons. So for your figure comparisons, you have the brand new Brie Bella here, you have the last Brie Bella here, and then you have Nikki Bella because of course, right? So you have the Bella twins. Here is the Brie Bella up next to the other Brie Bella. Again, they're very, very similar. I think this head sculpt looks a lot better. It's painted a lot better. It's, you know, and everything like that. This is a better figure overall but those legs are super stiff at least it's not you know it is double jointed knees it's double jointed arms so it's automatically gonna be better this one's stiff as hell too man i do not miss the old women's articulation man these figures right here the older women's figures from mattel are some of the worst you could see i'm gonna be honest with you the newer ones blow them out of the water not even close but that's the brie bella figure man very very stiff upgraded from this figure absolutely if you want to upgrade your brie and only want one brie i would go with this one over this one but it does look nice up next to this Nikki Bella. Not totally trying to sh tear it to shreds, but you guys know if you're a, a, a you, know, you know how these figures are sometimes, man. Now for Damien Priest accessories, much like Brie Bella, you get a rubber accessory and you get the interchangeable hands. We do have this I don't want to, I don't know if this is the exact mold. I want to say it's the exact mold that we saw with his last Elite in the Elite Series 89, was it? Was Elite 89? Damien Priest, I can't remember, but you do have the silver chains going down the middle. You have it on the sides, you have it on the other side, and then you have nothing on the back. So it's just plain white jacket that clasps in the front. It's kind of a softer material than, than we usually see from these kinds of things, but it does clasp there. You guys know that it doesn't clasp very well. Uh, that's just the, the, the nature of these things, but if you can get it all the way through there, it will clasp on the figure. I'm not going to use this garbage, to be honest with you. You know, I, I can't stand the rubber accessories, but at least it is a vest and not a jacket where it will hinder all the articulation, but you do get the rubber accessory. And then outside of that, he actually comes with You Can't See Me slash Finn Balor entrance hands with the black middle finger ring right there. And then he comes with mic holding hands with the same ring on the middle finger on the right hand. It's just regular mic holding hands, which, you know, make the world go round. All right, guys, so getting into Damian Priest, same head sculpt we saw with his last figure. I mean, this is almost an identical repaint, but he actually got some new stuff going on, and I, I like this figure, man. You got the same head sculpt, pretty quality head sculpt, I'd say. You do get the same necklace we saw in his last figure. He's very toyetic. He's got all the tattoos, nice torso for him, double jointed arms which we like to see all that stuff looks good same hair mold and everything he does not come with the removable gauntlets which i honestly feel is a step back i feel like they could have done the same gauntlets just repainted them but you do have the white and silver gauntlets painted on which again is a downgrade to be honest with you i'd prefer the removable but it is still quality same crotch piece we saw last time you have the white and silver which is very very clean now these legs look sick as hell man all this different stuff is sculpted on i do 
believe all this is newly sculpted, like these thigh pads are sculpted on, you're getting these silver arrows painted on. White and silver is a very clean look that if it pulled off correctly, is just super sweet and I think they captured it perfectly. Like the silver color, it stands out, it looks metallic, it really stands out on the white. You even have the sculpted, like this is newly sculpted knees, newly sculpted lower legs right there with all the different buckles and all the different chain mail. Just very quality right here with all these buckles and, and different things going on right here or the different divots and little metal plates like it very very intricate very cool i love this little even this right here this this netting right here is sculpted on it's in this like sort of pale yellow color just very nice overall man you do have these the white and silver kick pads on there with some details it's probably the most detailed figure in the set and it's very high quality like i am i am loving it i think it's awesome you know it can articulate all the same deal the last figure the last damian priest is one of the better figures of the year now is this going to get the same treatment probably not because it is very similar to his last one which we can see right now that's exactly what i'm saying here it's again you guys can see here in the sculpted detail crotches are the same downgraded with the with the side gauntlets there but if you zoom in here look at that right there man they have totally sculpted this, this stuff onto the thighs i wish we would get more stuff like this from mattel because i think they really could pull it off same crotch same torsos necklaces all the different stuff but it's very quality man this, this is awesome if you're going to redo a figure in a wave this is the way to do it i think you do get some new stuff going on like do we want new heads and stuff yes but i think this figure was so good reusing it a, a, a lot of the parts from it can work because it's so good figure kind of reminds me of the scorpion king but this is a very high quality figure man what a what a very dope piece and i'm not even a damian priest fan but i can appreciate a football figure when i get it and this is uh this is one of those pieces probably could be the best figure in the wave we'll have to find out at the end but very very damn good not gonna spend a lot of time here but we do have vader's accessories he does come with the brock lesnar mold hands without any you know logos on it doesn't say lesnar because it's not brock lesnar it's vader so he does have his mic holding hands here and the gloved hands which look good and then you have your signature vader hands which we've seen multiple times you guys will notice it's actually a different mold one has the thumb missing and one has the thumb painted on so that is a discrepancy there but you know it's not the biggest deal but you do get the vader hands that are glove molded it's just it's painted black right there which i guess i don't i don't know i guess you could either paint this one black or paint that one skin tone if you wanted to but who, who the hell cares i care a little i'm not gonna lie but you know what i just gotta build a bridge here so getting into vader man i do believe this is a brand new head sculpt all the other vader head sculpts we've seen to my knowledge i could be wrong about this but i'm pretty sure every other vader head sculpt had a removable mask and this is the first time not having a removable mask but the likeness is very good i love the hair color i love the likeness and expression i think the mask is really nicely done i think that if you want to buy this and put this head on other vaders you may want to do that i i don't know all the different discrepancies between the gears but this is a very nice mask sculpt and it is a very nice head sculpt i like this head sculpt a lot i like that he's pissed off and yelling and like get over here i'm about to smash you so me talking to my wife but going down into the torso same torso we've seen you got vader time on there the black and red going down pretty decent ab crunch on this guy as well you do have double jointed arms on here which is very nice i think these are some arms that you could see on another guy i think i'd like to see that like different guys i think these arms would work better for kind of the chubbier not as like detailed or veiny arms would do good on some other guys you got the wrist gauntlets on there that we've seen same hands we covered before you got the big crotch piece in there he's got a great split you know the athletic prowess that vader had looks good got the v on the butt cheek there in yellow you do have the nice big knee pads that are going to hinder the hell out of articulation but you do get kind of a single joint out of there they are double jointed but with the knee pad on there you're only going to get a single joint but you have the red and black boots which are very clean i like these a lot and they fit nicely with the gear but as far as comparisons go i don't have any other vader man i've never had any other vader this is my first time owning a vader elite and we've had him two or three times now i think in elite waves or legends waves and things of that nature but he's got a good ab crunch in here he does have good shoulders these big guys always have great shoulders but you're getting a double jointed arm in there i mean he's pretty buttery smooth and feels good in the hand the only thing is like his kick forward sucks he's got like that ratchety noise he has a good split which doesn't really matter you have a double jointed knee in there which sucks because of the large knee pads but you get the boot rotation decent little ankle rocker the short boots aren't as good as long boots usually when it comes to like ankle articulation but uh that is vader pretty solid here not my favorite of all time but a pretty quality football figure and uh i can i can respect it and then just like vader interchangeable hands nothing else going on here you get fisted hands for Rey mysterio which we've seen a million times just this year we've seen these a million times just the fisted glove hands in all black and then of course you have to have your friday night smackdown reaching out entrance 
black gloved hands that we've seen so many more times, and I just wish that they'd give us attires that have different colored gloves. I want to see different colored gloves for different fix-ups, but they keep giving us all black, so I have a million of these now. Ah, give us mic holding hands for Christ's sake. All right, man, so getting into Rey Mysterio, starting out with the head sculpt. I do believe this is a new head sculpt. Don't think we've seen this before. It's very similar to the Mohawk head sculpt that we got so many times before with the Elite 72 and so on and so forth, all the top picks kind of figures. Very similar facial structure, except it doesn't have the Mohawk. It's like the old school mask here, but it looks good. The colors look good and everything like that. We do have the old school Rey Mysterio Elite 18, Elite, you know, old school torso like that. It's not the same torso that we saw on the Legends figure. So, you know, there's two different types of torsos they like to give him, but he does have his tattoos here. It's before he had all of his tattoo work, of course, but he does have the Eddie Guerrero armbands on there, which are really nice. Got the red and silver in there. Got the elbow pads, double jointed arms, knees, joint, double jointed arms or elbows, I'm sorry. Got the crotch piece in there, classic. Got the red long baggy pants on there. It'd be cool if they could do this in like the, you know how they do Kane's pants where they have them like shiny? It'd be really cool if they could do that because that, usually his gear was like shiny, right? But got the cross and flames on there. Got the 619 on the other side and then the black boots right there. Very good articulation on this guy and he is small. I mean, why wouldn't he be small there? But he's got a really good kick forward. These Rey Mysterios are on ball joints unlike the first few Rey Mysterios and then they did transition him there but he does have good arms and, and everything like that. Like he feels really good in the hand. All Rey Mysterio figures feel quality. Like he could fight crime and kick all the ass that you need him to of course but this Rey Mysterio is pretty quality and it's a ruthless aggression Rey Mysterio so that's nice to see. It seems like they are starting to pump out more ruthless aggression figures that we begged for for years so now that we are getting those that is nice to see. But let's get into some Rey Mysterio figure comparisons which first of all you do have your SummerSlam Elite Rey on the left and then you do have your Greatest Hits Rey Mysterio on the right and these are all three Rays that we got just this year not including the other three Rays that we're going to take a look at in just a second which is going to include all of these Rey Mysterios and this one, this one, this one are all from like the same era except they do use different torsos like they're around the same time and uh, it's just cool man it's really really bad eh? I think it all looks really clean you know you got your modern Rey Mysterios kind of leaner you know meaner all those different things and then you do have your your more beefier torso there which I think this is more accurate and then this is more accurate all of them are fantastic though they do a really good job on their raise but this is another addition here that I really like and you know it gets the job done man pretty cool stuff all right man so getting into the Doc Hendricks build a figure all the pieces that are in front of the boxes are what the respective pieces come with or the figures do come with so Damian Priest comes with the arms Vader comes with the torso Rey Mysterio comes with the mic and interchangeable hands and then Bree comes with the head sculpt and the legs that was still a really slick move that they tried pulling there but let's go ahead and build the Doc Hendricks and we'll get into the review of him here so you snap that in there and then we got to put in our arms here I love this new torso that they are giving these build a figures like we got with the mean gene just the other day I think that's really quality but got to get this arm in here Ugh. then taking the Hendrix head popping that on there to be honest with you looks like Jeff Jarrett to me it's giving me Jeff Jarrett vibes but this is a very good figure man I'm enjoying this quite a bit I think that the suit feels really good I love the new sleeves that we got again but the pink suit is fire need to put MDT in this pink suit but you guys know how the articulation is the legs are fantastic these new double jointed arms are really great oh my god the new torso is nice too like this new suited here but I still think we're missing a slim body like we need regular released figures in the main line similar to the elite 100 Andre the giant that we're getting we need more releases like that where you release figures in suit of guys that wrestled you know what I'm saying Finn Balor etc like that give us that slim suit body mold but this is very good I, I like it a lot looks very quality but I do want to see what our other things look like and by other things I mean the other two build a figures we just got so you have the survivor series elite build a figure wave rick rude right here that wants to do a nosedive like a son of a bitch you guys will notice he has single jointed arms then you have the newly sculpted torso and arms for the mean gene wrestlemania 39 wave and then you have the doc hendrix royal rumble elite wave really cool man i think all these look great up next to each other we've had quite a number of of suited bodies from mattel and i think they've done a really good job here of releasing these to us and they always feel really quality they're some of the best figures they give us but the basic ones in suits and back street or back backstage attire and backstage attires those are the ones that really struggle to me but all these are really cool and I, I like that a lot and uh let's go ahead and rank this set from worst to best in my own personal opinion now coming in at the bottom of said rank now again let's get the criteria out there all right just because a figure comes into the bottom of the ranking doesn't mean that it's not good at all and just because a figure is number one in the ranking doesn't mean it doesn't have any faults whatsoever on top of that likeness feel in the hand excitement level for the figure posability all these different things come into account but ranking this set from worst to best man let's get 
get into the second to last figure. For me, it's going to be Brie Bella. Kind of self-explanatory. Very stiff. Doesn't feel good in the hand. Feels like it's going to break. Basic boots. Pretty much a re-release of the Elite 68. Can't stand it. Next in the list, I'm going with Vader. You know, I don't hate the Vader figure, but his legs are very, very stiff. He can pose around decently, but he's still very, very stiff, man. Feels like I'm going to break his legs. Also, wasn't that excited for the figure, so that also plays a role in it. Next on the list, I'm going with the Rey Mysterio. I think it's a good figure. I think it's very quality. I'm also noticing that every figure in this wave is like white and red. Fits the packaging well, but Rey Mysterio comes in at number three. Very solid figure, but I think, you know, we've been around this track so many times, it's going to require a pretty heavily sick figure, similar to like the Top Talents Macho Man Rey Mysterio Elite, to kind of sway me and, and bump him up there. Very good figure, very quality, but I think number three is a great spot. Coming in at number two is going to be the Damian Priest. I really like it a lot, but it has so many things that are similar to the last one that I, I don't think he can quite be number one, which leads me to number one, which is going to be the Doc Hendricks build-a-figure, which is so sick. The pink suit, the double-jointed arms, the cleanliness, not going to beat it, man. It is the best of the best. It's the best figure in this wave, and I love it. I think it's great, and I think if I were to find this at retail, the full wave, I would buy the full thing, then I'd throw the Brie Bella out in the yard because I wouldn't need it and I build a figure there for the Doc Hendricks to put other guys in pink suits. But that is pretty much going to wrap up our video. Now, before we get out of here, I do want to get into the random shout-out. Today's shout-out is going to go to my man Nick Storm Review, who says, My dad always used to say, if you're not first, you're last. Then they made a biopic about me called Talladega Nights, and it's all 100% accurate, and I thought that was hilarious. My boy Nick Storm Review, definitely go follow him on, on YouTube and Instagram, man. Very funny dude, great friend of the channel. Huge shout-out to Nick Storm. I thought that was a quality comment. Made me cackle. And if you make me cackle, Brad, probably gonna get the shout out. I mean, I'm just gonna be real with you. think it's fantastic, but huge shout out to Nick Storm, man. Thank you guys so very much for watching. Hope you guys did enjoy. Leave me your thoughts on this wave down in the comment section below. How is your wallet holding up? How are you surviving all these waves releasing at once? Kind of ridiculous. You cross the line.